wealth of animal life in the park, it is only with patience and discretion that we can experience some precious moments. To those with less patience, the exploration of Danyana might seem too monotonous, too partial or too regulated. Tours are guided, private cars are especially forbidden, movements are limited and restricted to specific parts of the park. But this is only because Danyana is anxious to preserve its enchanted land. A thousand kilometers northeast of Doñana, nature, with the watchful assistance of man, has another little miracle in store for us. The little island of Port Croce is located in the Mediterranean Sea, about 15 kilometers off the French coast. It's one of the three islands which make up the little archipelago of the Ile de Yer. Measuring only four kilometers by three, it's the smallest. Also the most mountainous, and a pleasant surprise in this region, which, although magnificent, is unfortunately often disfigured by developers. Just a few minutes by boat from the coast with all its bustle and agitation, Port Cross is like another world, a world that has remained natural and human. Cars are forbidden on the island, which has about 40 inhabitants, mostly fishermen. This little jewel of an island set in the Mediterranean was a much sought after prize and it has remained such a paradise thanks only to the foresight of the owners who willed it to the French government. The island is covered with scrubs and green oak and alip pine forests. It slopes gently from the south towards the north, where sit the bays, the port and the little village. In 1963, Port Crows became both a land and underwater national park. With its 1,800 hectares of preserved seascape, it's the first park of its kind in Europe and in the Mediterranean. Many attempts to conquer the island were made in the last 2,000 years, and several forts remain to bear witness to its turbulent history. The archive reproductions of these buildings seem to show that the island was all but barren of vegetation until the last centuries. Poets say that Port Cross is made of water and golden shale. Geologists say it is all schist and mica schist. Broken, laminated or folded, strips, slivers and leaves of rocks. <laughs> 